talk about my experiences with different rootstocks and grafting so far. Now this is my favorite uh, rootstock, it's Sugar Dragon, and I actually have two varieties grafted to it. It's a Condor peg style graft, which is doing really well, I had some new growth, and then I've been plagued, as you'll see, by ants and I think grasshoppers are flying into my greenhouse at night. Something nocturnal, some uh, pest, and keeps damaging them. However, they're still thriving, you can see. So this is a four, uh, five and a half month seedling graft. I grafted it in uh, the winter, at the end of November. And even though it's been damaged, you can see it has a lot of new growth. It's really thick, and the spines are turning into permanent spines. Now, <clears throat> it's at least double the size of a regular seedling. Well, since I've grafted it, here are the seedlings that are not grafted, and it's easily double the size. Now even with all this damage, you can see it's still bouncing back and has lots of new growth and I have to support it a lot. So I've used several different rootstocks and I really like Sugar Dragon. Alright, let's go explore some more. Alright, so here's another seedling that I attached to Vietnamese white rootstock. That seems to be another great uh, rootstock for grafting. It was rather mature, but it's still attached without a problem. Now here's another sugar dragon. I attached a sugar dragon seed seedling to a sugar dragon rootstock, a very young one, just to try it out. And to me that was probably the best case scenario. This rootstock was very young and I would probably say maybe six months and it, that seems to be my perfect uh, preferred rootstock. So sugar dragon seedling attached to a sugar dragon. Now I noticed the pests have not damaged this one probably because the pest that I'm battling probably because um, it's very spiny so maybe they don't have access to this but either way you can see it's a very beautiful seedling graft. I love how spiny it is. Alright <clears throat> here's a yellow pelora that has been damaged by ants but it's bouncing back. So I just keep it in my greenhouse. I'm constantly battling pests from coming in, especially now there's a nocturnal pests. I still haven't figured it out, but I found some grasshoppers on the yard. So I'm guessing it's them sneaking in somehow. Super annoying. All right, here's another Pelora seedling graft with slight damage, but again, these rootstocks have been wonderful. The one that I just talked about on the left is a unknown red variety. So it seems a little bit slower to grow. And the one you're looking at right here is Haley's Comet rootstock, which is another rootstock I really like for uh, using to graft dragon fruit seedlings. <coughs> now, this one is the one that, if you saw our, how the ants damaged our grafts, this one was the one I didn't think would make it. And it's uh, physical graffiti on Haley's Comet rootstock. Now they ate it at the stem and you can see it just has vigorous growth. And, and it's still surviving. So I'm just gonna let it be, and I'm not gonna prune that one out. Haley's Comet. All right, here's another uh, red variety. It's unknown, and it's been a pretty uh, nice rootstock to graft with. Now, I got some of this just for free, and I just wanted to experiment with it. Although I did, would it, in my experience, say these red variety um, rootstocks are hardy but they tend to be a little bit slower to grow. Here is a very large cutting that I used as rootstock of Vietnamese white. And sometimes this happens with a graft. It, it may look like the seedling's not gonna take or it may die, but it will shoot some new growth right inside there. Hopefully we'll get to see it. So that can happen as well. That's a very, uh, here's a El Grullo. I used El Grullo as a rootstock, and I don't think I'm going to do that again. It's really, really slow in my experience, but I'm sure it's going to be super hardy. So you can see, again, the, the main stem kind of died, but or broke off or dried up, but it does have a successful union, and there is a new growth shooting off of that graft. Here's a very small graft, the smallest I've done yet, and we'll see how it does. Now this rootstock is, again... Uh, this one's a delight, actually, so it should be awesome as well. So my favorite rootstocks, the ones I've used so far, 
And again, you may have different rootstock needs because of your soil or your climate, but I really like uh, Hylocerius andatus or, or a Vietnamese white and sugar dragon. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Have a great day.